is NP is good for retirement or uh, choose good for uh, equity mutual funds for retirement purpose. Okay, so again, uh, <clears throat> NPS is also a good product in the sense that uh, there is some amount of stickiness that investors have because this product you cannot withdraw before 60 years. So from that perspective, I feel it's a good product from a discipline perspective that investors will have to stay invested. Um, you have choices of different asset classes. You have equity, we have corporate bonds, we have government bonds. But the same thing can be replicated in a mutual fund portfolio as well. So you can have an equity mutual fund, you can have a debt mutual fund, okay, as part of the asset allocation strategy. So both of them work in the same way. Both of them are mutual funds only. Okay, if you look at it from that perspective, there are fund managers who manage. The advantage that NPS offers is that uh, the fund management charges are pretty less, okay? And the performance has also been okay. Not very good, not very bad. I think the performance is okay. The other advantage that NPS can offer, if you're a tax paying individual, you can take NPS from the perspective of saving additional tax. So you can put up to 50,000 rupees per annum and get a deduction under section 80 CCD. So I would suggest that you uh, look at NPS more from a tax saving perspective, 50,000 every year. Uh, then put the other amount for retirement corpus into a good equity scheme. The only drawback then NPS I feel is that if I am 30 or 35 years old, I cannot have 100% equity exposure in NPS. I can have maximum 50% exposure. So that's a drawback according to me because if I have time on my hand, I may want to have 100% equity exposure or 80% equity exposure, which NPS may not allow me to do. 